Hello and welcome to the Giles County Newsletter. This is the March 2016 edition. In this newsletter, we're going to share with you and reshare some photos that were shared with us via our social media, which is either Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Instagram. We hope you'll share yours with us as well. We're going to give you some info on upcoming events and activities, and we're even going to go on location. So stick with us and see what we have in store for you. On Friday and Saturday, March 18th and 19th, three celebrity chefs from around the country will prepare a six-course meal with wine pairings for guests at the Palisades Restaurant. Proceeds from the event will benefit the Giles County Summer Lunch Program, which provides free, nutritious meals for children during the summer months. Last year, the Palisades Restaurant raised $4,000 for the program. Now in its seventh year, the Celebrity Chef Dinner at the Palisades Restaurant has become a Southwest Virginia culinary event not to miss. You're going to eat the best food of your life and help out a good cause. Shayna Muldoon, owner of the Palisades Restaurant, says that we are excited to give back to our community by supporting the county's free lunch program and helping children get the nutritional meals they need to thrive. Tickets to the event are on sale now for $150 per person, and that includes all of your food, drinks, gratuity, taxes, and a champagne reception. Tickets must be purchased in advance by calling 540-626-2828. They are non-refundable, but are transferable. More information on the Celebrity Chef Dinner can be found at thepalisadesrestaurant.com or visiting our gilescounty.org website. Some other upcoming events here in Giles County. Just a reminder that every Tuesday at Campo Verde in Parisburg, beginning at 7 p.m., is an old-time jam session. Also, every Thursday, beginning at 7 at the MacArthur Inn in Narrows, there's also an old-time jam session, and they are open to the public, uh, but you're also encouraged to bring an instrument and join in the fun. On March 12th and March 19th at Right Turn Clyde Brewing Company in Narrows, they're going to have some live music. March 12th, beginning at 6 p.m., and March 19th, beginning at 7 p.m., they will be also having food on March 19th. Also on March 19th is the Spring Thaw at Glen Alton. Um, it begins at 10 and goes until noon. Some of the activities you can expect to see up there that day that you can participate in with your family are apple grafting, chestnut planting, mason orchard bee housemaking, grape pruning workshop, and fun kids activities by our own local Loco Arts program. You can take home your projects and get a jump on spring. The event is free for your family, but donations for future programs are always appreciated and accepted. On March 19th, uh, it is a girls, country girl night out at Mountain Lake Lodge. They say, call all your girlfriends and join us for a country girls night out. Packages include one night lodging at the Stone Lodge in the Stone Lodge line dancing in Mary's Barn with a professional dance instructor, light appetizers throughout the evening, along with drink specials and uh, at a cash bar. The package is available Saturday, March 19th, and they also have Saturday, April 16th down as a date. The John K. Hale Lecture Series is back for its second season at the Andrew Johnston House in the Giles County Historical Society. On March 22nd, beginning at 6.30, the first lecture series of the season is going to have Captain Jeffrey Brown, U.S. Navy retired, presenting the American Navy during the Revolutionary War. We're all glad to have this lecture series back again this year. It's a free event, so mark your calendars for March 22nd. On March 26th, with the Easter weekend, the Newport community is having an Easter egg hunt 
from 2 to 5 p.m. And Mountain Lake Lodge is having their second annual egg extravaganza. This free event will feature a giant Easter egg hunt on the grounds up at Mountain Lake Lodge with special appearances by the Easter Bunny himself. That begins on uh, March 26th at 11 a.m. At the Palisades Restaurant on March 27th, there is a 10.30 and a noon seating for an Easter brunch. You can make reservations for that by uh, visiting their website or giving them a call. Another great reminder, every Friday continuing through winter, Mountain Lake Lodge will have their seafood buffet. The buffet is open every Friday night from 5 to 9 p.m. and offers a wide variety of delicious seafood. Occupancy is limited and reservations are strongly recommended. Reservations can be made up to 60 days prior to the buffet date. Two early April events that you're going to want to mark your calendars for, both on April 2nd. First one is the annual Hell Climb 10K Plus event. The Hell Climb 10K Plus is a six and a half mile hill climb from the base of Mountain Lake here in Giles to the, to the cool, clear air at the summit. Runners will ascend more than 1,800 feet as they follow Mountain Lake Road. More information and registration can be found on our gilescounty.org website. Also on April 2nd at Right Turn Clyde Brewing, Brewing Company in Narrows is the Middle Appalachia Beard and Mustache Contest. They say, join in the fun for a great cause. With eight categories to enter, anyone who can grow some hair can join. Enter at RTC or through their website. All proceeds from this event go to Pints for Prostate and Hope House of Giles County. There will be music and food on location for the evening. The cost is $10 per entry and $5 for spectators. Let they, out, they finish with, let's get this rolling for people who need it. More info coming, but you can visit their Facebook page as they update it regularly. So there you go. Race in the morning, show off your beard at night. More information on all of these events can be found on our gilescounty.org website. Then click the button that says events calendar. There's details there and links to registrations or Facebook pages so that you can find out all the details that we know and hopefully you enjoy some of these upcoming events. On location at Witt Riverbend Park in Harrisburg, here you see some improvements made to the boat landing that makes it easier for folks to access the river at this public boat launch. And then also at Riverbend Park, there's a walking trail that um, is paved and easily accessible to uh, users. There's a picnic pavilion, bathrooms, and uh, lots of good stuff.